Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, and I'm on WW Personal Points. Today, today we're making protein coffee. So many of you have reached out asking me, what do you put in your coffee every morning? Because as you know, I drink a protein coffee, otherwise known as profi every single morning. So today I'm going to be sharing with you four different protein coffee recipes using the Casa Brews at home espresso machine. Let me just tell you how amazing this at home espresso machine is. You can spend upwards of four, five, even more buying coffee at your local coffee shop, especially if you're a frequent visitor to Starbucks. They are super, super expensive. This at home espresso machine makes just as good espresso as your local coffee shop. It's a great way to save money, control what's going into your coffee, and you'll pay for the machine within just a few months of purchase. I'm in love with the Casa Brews Home Espresso Machine. So if you're excited to see my four favorite protein coffee recipes, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. All of the coffee recipes will be on my recipe website. I'll link everything I use in today's video as well as the Casa Brews home espresso machine down in the description box for you. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So I need a coffee. Let's jump in. Like I said, the Casa Brews home espresso machine is so incredibly amazing, better than I ever thought that a home espresso machine could be. It is stunning, brushed, stainless steel design. It is very aesthetically pleasing. It looks very nice on the countertop. It is a 20 bar Italian pump style, whole stainless steel body, inserted memory function grinder. It is strong and durable quality. It has an ISO quality system certification, an ETL certification, and 100% full inspection of the product before it ever reaches your doorstep. It's priced amazingly. The functionality is very similar to big brands like Breville, but is a much more a reasonable, affordable price. Like I said, it's a beautiful machine. And today I wanna to share with you how amazing this machine is while we make our four different types of protein coffees. I'm really excited, you guys, to dig into my Casa Brews espresso machine. You guys know I love my coffee, and I'm really excited to share with you a way to make espresso at home for a much more affordable price. And we are going to make four different protein coffees, which is also very exciting because you know I'm all about the protein and I'm all about the coffee. So when I open it up, I have the instruction manual, which we are definitely going to utilize. There's a quick operation guide, which is super helpful as well. And then this is really cool. If you scan this QR code here, you receive a free barista book with brewing tips and lots of inspiring coffee recipes. So in addition to the four protein coffee recipes I'm going to share with you in today's video, you can scan this little QR code right here and get some more recipes. I'm going to start kind of pulling the stuff off of the top here, which looks like a majority of the different accessories and components to the machine. Maybe it's cause we are Got time and we're wasted Got no plans for the night Now for the most exciting part, let's pull out the actual espresso machine. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? I mean, it is beautiful. It is stainless steel. Just look at how fancy this espresso machine is. This isn't your normal home espresso machine. This is the same quality that you get at Starbucks or your local coffee shop, and you can make your own coffee at home for pennies on what you would pay at a coffee shop. There is a steam wand if you for hot coffee. Your actual hopper goes here. Here's the compartment for the water. I am so excited about this. This is even more beautiful than I thought that it would be. So let me quickly show you all the little pieces that came with the espresso machine and then we'll get it all set up so we can make some protein coffee, protein coffee number one. So this right here is the actual compartment for your espresso beans. So this sits right on top of the espresso machine. You add your beans. The 
machine pulls the beans from the little container here, grinds it fresh every time you go to make a coffee. This is very, very high quality. It is plastic, which is easy to clean. Coffee beans are greasy, so grease comes really easily off of these plastic type of containers. Now, if you didn't know, I owned coffee shops when I lived in Washington for over 12 years. I owned several coffee shops inside my local YMCA's. I had a few drive-through coffee shops. So I know good espresso, I know good coffee, I know good espresso machines. And the quality of this Casa Brews is insane. It is so nice. I paid upwards of $20,000 for the espresso machine in my coffee shop. And this one, quality wise, aesthetically is just as nice. I am floored by the quality. I cannot wait to use it. So the next accessory is what's called a portafilter. So this is actually where the coffee goes, the coffee grinds, and then it comes out the base here into whatever cup you're pulling your espresso shots into. So we have a basket here for two shots and then the basket in the portafilter is for a single shot. So you can do a single shot of espresso or a double shot of espresso. This right here is called the tamp. So once you grind the coffee into the portafilter, you take this and push the coffee into place. You want to apply about 50 pounds of pressure. So when the water flows through the ground coffee, it creates this beautiful shot of espresso. This thing weighs like five pounds. This is super, super heavy duty and it's so, so nice. This is the pitcher for milk or milk alternative. This is what you would actually steam milk in. We have some other little tools here. This is a cleaning needle, which can actually get in and clean those really small spots, especially in the coffee, coffee grinder. This actually comes in really handy. This little brush right here can get into all the nooks and crannies in the actual grinder and clean it out. And then there's a coffee scoop as well. I'm really excited to get this whole thing put together. So what I'm going to do is set you up so that you can see me setting up the machine. Don't forget that it's going to come with a complete instruction manual. You will see me in real time setting it up and getting it ready for use. So I'm just taking all the tape and stickers and things off of the machine. And this was actually on the back. This is really cool. It says how to get the perfect cup of coffee. Follow these six simple steps. So this is something that I'm actually going to just stick on the back of the instruction manual so that I can keep it. I don't wanna keep it on the machine, but this is really great because it tells you exactly how to prepare the perfect cup of coffee. I wanna do it all again, so I keep pushing it wide. Hoping you'll survive my side. We can't get lost in time. But don't you wanna do it all again? Start to repeat in my mind. Dancing with you by my side. We can't get lost in time. hopper now we want to set the initial grind so you can see that we have numbers all the way from 1 to 15 the selection is already set at 8 and the instructions say to have it 8 to 10 so you can see that you can adjust the grind so we're gonna go ahead and keep it at 8 like the initial instructions say so now we're ready to grind some coffee so we have our portafilter here again I have the double you can see that it sits really nicely in that holder we installed. Go ahead and turn it on. You can see here that we have a single shot and a double shot. So depending on what basket is in the filter, remember I put the double shot basket in the filter. Here's the single shot. So if we were using this one, we would select the single shot option. So right now we're just wanting to run some water through just to make sure that we rinse out the machine thoroughly before making our beverage. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the double and you can hear the pump come on. And what it's going to do is pull a double shot of coffee or in our case, run the amount of water through the portafilter as you can see here for a double shot of espresso. And this is just, again, we're just cleaning out the portafilter. We're getting the machine primed and prepped to make coffee. We also have a hot water button. So this is really nice if you're someone that makes tea or instant coffee, or you just want a nice hot cup of water on hand, you have the option to get that as well. So I'm gonna hit that button, again, just to run water through that component of the machine. This little dial right here is actually what operates your steam wand. So there's a preheat button and then the on off steam button. And then you can adjust the amount of pressure from the steam wand. So you can see that it is adding steamed hot water woo, to our little container. If you had milk in there, almond milk, oat milk, regular milk, 
the steam would froth the milk up. So you have the option of making lattes and hot espresso drinks as well. So here's a really, really cool feature of this machine. It's really hard sometimes to determine whether or not you're getting a good shot of espresso. So this gauge is really, really helpful. So when you're pulling your shot of espresso, if it's in this gray area down here, that is not enough pressure. So you're not getting the highest quality of shot. Now, if it's in this gray area right here, then there's too much pressure. So that means again, that you're not getting the best quality espresso shot. It can either be too weak or too bitter. So ideal, we want it to fall in in this blue area. So there are some things you can do to tweak the pressure, whether that's changing the grind on the beans, using fresh beans, making sure you're cleaning your machine so that it's not falling in this gray area where your coffee comes out really bitter. So I really like this feature. It just makes it foolproof for perfect shots. So our machine is all set up and let's jump into the first protein coffee recipe. Now this is the coffee that I make for myself every single morning. It is very, very simple. It is probably the most well-known protein coffee. It's actually called a profi, which stands for protein coffee. It is very, very simple. So first you'll decide the number of espresso shots that you want in your coffee. For me, I put four shots into my protein coffee or my profi every morning. So I would pull two sets of the double shot of espresso. And then I add my favorite protein shake. So when I'm talking protein shake, I'm talking about pre made packaged protein shake. So I have four of my favorites here for you. So one option that I add to my coffee a lot is the Alani Fit Shake. This is the vanilla. My favorite to add to my profi is the Munchies. This has 20 grams of protein, 140 calories, and four points. So not bad. It's getting 20 grams of protein in your coffee first thing in the morning. The vanilla and the Munchies, in my opinion, are the best for your morning cup of coffee. I have a couple of Fairlife options. These are the two that I use the most. This is the Core Power Elite in chocolate. This one has 42 grams of protein, 230 calories, and is four points on WW. I use this shake on days that I work out. So when I go to the gym, lift weights, and I know that it's going, that I'm going to need that extra bit of protein and energy for the gym. And I also use this one on days that I know that there's going to be a big gap between my coffee and when I can actually consume food. Because this one keeps me a lot more full because it has 42 grams of protein. So I use this one on days that I'm running errands. If you, if you have a really busy day in the office full of meetings and you just need something to sustain you, then this one works really well for that. And then just the regular fair life. This is the 30 grams of protein, 150 calories, four points. This is the chocolate. I also really like the caramel and the vanilla in my coffee. Again, a great way to get in 30 grams of protein. And then lastly, Premier. Premier is another one that I like in my coffee. My favorite is actually the cafe latte. Not only do you get 30 grams of protein, you also get an extra boost of caffeine because this one does have a little bit of caffeine in it. It says the same amount as one cup of coffee. And this one, in my opinion, is really, really good with shots of espresso. And then before I actually add my shots of espresso to my cup, I always add in a scoop of collagen for her collagen peptides. I've been using this for years. This is great for hair, skin, nail, skin elasticity. It's just a really good supplement and it dissolves beautifully with the hot shots of coffee. And then the other thing I add in is Just Better Fiber. So I use about a tablespoon and a half of Just Better Fiber. That also goes into my cup before the shots of coffee. You can see that it dissolves absolutely perfectly with the hot shots of coffee. And in fact, both the collagen and the fiber dissolve really well in cold water as well. Once I pull my shots of espresso, I add in my protein shake of choice, add some ice, a straw, and enjoy. So this is my profi or my protein coffee. This is the concoction that I make most often. I find that it keeps me full for a few hours. It at least allows me to work out, get my day started before I actually need to sit down and get a meal. And really the biggest benefit of this is all of the protein that comes in your coffee. One great way to reach your protein goal is to make easy swaps. Take out coffee creamer that has no protein, add in a protein shake, you still get the creamy sweetness of the coffee creamer, but you're also getting 20 to 42 grams of protein. We can't get lost in time Yeah, I wanna do it all again We were on top of the world Had time that we wasted We were young and so dumb 
after you pull your shots of espresso, you'll need to pick up some type of knock box. So we're going to take and knock out the grind until we have a nice clean portafilter and then back in for two more shots of espresso. Yeah, I wanna do it all again. So I keep pushing rewind. Hoping you'll still by my side. We can't get lost in time. But don't you wanna do it all again? Stuck on repeat in my mind. Dancing with you by my side. We can't get lost in Yum. I'm telling you, one of my all time favorite things. I literally have this every day. Oh, on a side note, what I pull my shots in is just the very small ball jar. I'll link these down below. I bought them off of Amazon. And then I like either a glass straw or a metal straw. I'll also link these down below for you. It's so good. It tastes like a sugary, really high calorie, high point Starbucks drink with 20 to 40 grams of protein. Maybe it's cause we are. So protein coffee number two is actually using protein powder. I have got this question a lot from people. What if I don't really like those pre-made shakes or sometimes people can't find them in your area, in their area, and they're too expensive to order off of, off of Amazon? You can use protein powder and it is really, really easy to use and you can make protein coffee with any protein powder that you have on hand. You know I love peppermint anything. This is my favorite protein powder for protein coffee, but you literally could use anything you have in your cabinet. This is the PE Science Peppermint Bark. This tastes like a white chocolate peppermint mocha from Starbucks. I'm not even joking. And you're getting 24 grams of protein. And then I like to add some of the Fairlife milk, or you could use any milk. You could use almond milk, cashew milk, oat milk, any milk. I prefer to use the Fairlife milk because in one cup of this is 13 grams of protein. Now I don't always use a whole cup, between a half a cup and a cup, but between the protein powder and the milk, I can get upwards of 30 to 40 grams of protein, which is really, really nice in a protein coffee. And as always, I'm adding my shots of espresso. It can be any number of shots that you want. I always add in my collagen and my Just Better Fiber, but this is just another easy way to make protein coffee. And one great thing about using actual protein powder is you can take it with you when you travel so you can't take the pre-made protein shakes through security now you could you could pack them in your suitcase but you know you can't take them through security because there's too much liquid but you can pack this in a little individual container or a little baggies and you can take this in your carry-on and take this for travel which is another really nice feature of the protein powder is being able to make it a little bit more portable and if you work outside the home you can just leave the big jug of protein powder in the office and you can make protein coffee, protein shakes, and then just make sure that you have some type of liquid. I mean, really you could just use water. You wouldn't even need to use milk, but I like to add milk because it makes it a little bit more creamy and of course gets in a little bit more protein. Now the Casa Brews espresso machine makes absolutely beautiful shots of espresso. Our pressure looks really good. We're in that blue zone, which is ideal. That's one feature about this machine that's really helpful. And this really foamy, caramely colored goodness on top, that is called crema. That's what actually adds the sweetness to your shot of espresso. So that is very very important to have sitting right on top and a good amount of that caramel color. And then we're going to add our shots of espresso and then we'll add in two more shots and I'll show you the easiest way to mix the powder. Once you've added your shots of espresso, there's two different ways that you can mix it up. First is this handy little contraption. This is from a company called Gosh That's Good. And this is the exact tool that I used in my coffee shop. These little spikes right here mix powder in really well. So you could use that and just get in there and make sure you're mixing that protein powder really well. And if you use a glass, like I'm using a mason jar here, you can look at the bottom and make sure that the protein powder is mixed in. This tool works so good for mixing in powders. You can also use your little automated frother that actually works really well. These little kitchen handheld frothers, they can mix up the powder as well. So I'll link both of these down below, but our powder is mixed in completely. And in the event that you don't want four shots of espresso, if you don't have enough liquid versus powder ratio, I always just add some hot water from the Casa Brews hot water button and use that to mix up the powder. So you can always add some hot water to get that extra mix. And then I'm going to add half of a cup of my Fairlife milk. Give that just another quick mix. 
ice, and then we're ready to enjoy. I love how you look at me, feeling low, nothing to lose. Cheers. Mm, that is so good. I'm telling you, the powder works just as well as the pre-made shake. It's very, very creamy. Oh, it's really, really good. The Casa Brews espresso machine pulls such good shots of espresso. And trust me, I know the difference between good coffee and not so good coffee. Maybe it's cause we are. Got time and we're wasted. No pens for the night. My next protein coffee for you is for all of my Frappuccino blended milkshakey icy coffee lovers. This is a protein packed Frappuccino essentially. We're using healthy ingredients, we're getting in a lot of protein low calorie, low point, we still can indulge in a blended coffee, similar to a Starbucks Frappuccino. Now, if you ever look up the calories and points in a Frappuccino, you're never gonna wanna have one again. They're very, very high point, high calorie. So we're making a much healthier option using the Casa Brews espresso machine. I'm going to once again, pull four shots of espresso. You can do as many shots as you would like. And then we just need a couple other ingredients. Again, you're going to need milk of your choice. I always use Fairlife just for that extra bit of protein. You're going to need a frozen banana. Protein powder of your choice. My favorite for these blended coffees is the Ghost Chips Ahoy. This literally tastes like a mocha frappuccino. It is that delicious blended up. So I'm going to use a scoop of Ghost. I will make sure that I link both Ghost and PE Science in the description box for you. You'll need some ice cubes and a blender. I'm going to use my Magic Bullet. That's kind of my go-to when I make a blended drink, especially just a single serve blended drink. I like mine to be a little bit sweeter, so I'll add two of these whole herbs stevia leaf and monk fruit packets. You could use honey, you can use really any sweetener if you wanna make it just a little bit more on the sweet side. And with blended coffees, like milkshake style coffees, I feel like they should be extra, extra sweet. Had time that we wasted, we were young and so dumb. bullet I'm adding my four shots of coffee I only use half of a frozen banana we'll add our two packages of sweetener and remember this is optional a scoop of our protein powder I really really love this ghost chips ahoy it's so good in these blended coffees and then half of a cup of fair life or whatever milk you're using pop in some ice cubes and let's blend her up This is the moment of truth, the moment of goodness. Look at that, oh my gosh, yum. That is Starbucks Frappuccino, my favorite little afternoon pick-me-up. Okay, look at this. I mean, mm, that is so good. It's sweet. You get the sweetness from the banana. I added those little extra packets of sweetener. It has a really, really good coffee flavor, but then you also get that hint of that Chips Ahoy protein powder. Wow. This is perfect for an afternoon pick-me-up on a hot summer day, or if you just like a good blended coffee in the morning, you could top it with your favorite whipped topping. You could even drizzle some sugar-free caramel sauce or chocolate sauce on the inside of the cup and really get that decadent coffee shop vibe. But this is absolutely incredible and way more protein, less calories, and points than Starbucks. Baby, it's cause we are. Now our last protein coffee is actually was a huge all the rage whipped coffee trend on TikTok and on YouTube and on Instagram. Everybody was making whipped coffee with instant coffee. So we're gonna try we're going to make a protein filled whipped coffee. So you're going to need some instant coffee, vanilla extract 
protein powder of your choice. I'm gonna use the integrated nutrition chocolate protein powder. I'll link that as well for you. Milk of your choice. And lastly, sugar sweet sugar or sugar alternative of your choice. And then for the whipping process, we're gonna use the little handheld mixer off of Amazon. So of course, this will be down in the description box as well. So into a bowl, I'm adding one tablespoon of instant coffee. Now you could use this same recipe, this using the protein powder and the milk and the vanilla extract and use the Casa Brews espresso machine and make a blended or a profi with this same recipe. But I wanted to share with you guys just another alternative using instant coffee and really going with the whole whipped coffee trend. So I added my one tablespoon of instant coffee. I'm going to add two packets of whole earth sweetener about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of water. And then using my little handheld mixer, I'm going to mix this together. I decided to transfer it into a little deeper bowl. It didn't dawn on me that you don't want a shallow bowl for this. And then we're going to use our handheld mixer, and we're going to whip this until stiff peaks are formed. Now it only takes a couple of seconds. Look at how good this looks. Look at how yummy that looks. Now into a shaker bottle, we're going to put the scoop of our protein powder and one cup or eight ounces of whatever milk you're using. Shake that up until the protein powder and the milk is combined. And then we're going to pour the protein mixture into a glass. And then the magic of pouring that delicious whipped coffee right on top. Look at how delicious that looks. That whipped coffee sits right on top. And then when you're ready to drink it, you'll just take your straw and mix everything together and you get another form of protein coffee. All right, we're gonna mix it all together, mix that whipped coffee in with the protein shake. You could also pop in some ice. Ooh, that's really good. It definitely is a much stronger coffee taste. A little less on the sweet side than some of the other protein coffees that we've made. But if you like the taste, that real strong taste of coffee, you're going to like this. And like I mentioned, you can pull shots from your Casa Brews espresso machine and use that in place of instant coffee, taking this recipe and just adding shots of espresso instead. But it is really good. Really, really good. And protein coffee option number four. Thank you so much for joining me for today's protein coffee recipe. I hope that this helps you add lots and lots of protein to your morning cup of coffee. As always, the recipes will be on my recipe website. I'll link the amazing Casa Brews Home espresso machine down in the description box for you with any related information. It will all be down in the description box as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come and join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Make sure you pick up the Casa Brews espresso machine and enjoy all four of these protein coffee recipes.